how's everyone doing? Jeff back with another lesson. Today we're looking at, wait for it, extended inverted paradiddles. Okay, big long phrase. Um, it's not too difficult to play as long as you can play inverted paradiddles. So let's get stuck in there. We're going to be doing it with 30 second notes. I'll talk later about how to count that. Um, however, inverted paradiddles is the first thing. So normal paradiddles go right, left, right, 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 right. Paradiddles. So the diddles at the end, okay? Reverse paradiddles, the diddles at the start. So it goes diddle, para. Well, when the diddle's in the middle, that makes our inverted paradiddles. So the pattern we need to make sure we can do goes right, left, left, right, and then left, right, right, left. Now, I, have, I normally teach paradiddles using the word para, diddle, para, diddle. It doesn't really work for this one because it would go pa, diddle, ra, pa, diddle, ra, pa, diddle, ra. Not an easy word to say, okay? So the first thing to do is just sit and make sure you can practice that, right? If you've never done those before, Pause the video right now and practice these for like 10 minutes at least. Right, left, left, right, left, right, right, left. Moving on, assuming that you can do those, what we need to do now is put a certain accent pattern in there. Now, the obvious accents in those are on the first of each of them, so like this. But in this particular pattern, we're going to be accenting uh, one more note in there. So it's going to go right, left, left. And then we're going to accent both the next two notes, right and left, right, right, left. I'll play it for you and you'll pick it up. Nice way of phrasing this around the drums is just to put our right hand accents on tom here and our left hand accents up on the tom here. So what we could do there was we could just use that on its own. That'd make a pretty cool feel on its own anyway. If I show you the next level of that, what we're doing is we're putting our right hand on the hi-hats here and we're putting a bass drum on, I'll show you actually. So it's the first, the fourth note. So it's going to be, if we think of the first inverted paradiddle, right, left, left, right, well, both of those rights have got bass drums with them like this. Second half hasn't. Okay, and that's the first pattern done. The way I was playing it in the um, example at the start was I, was I was doing either something here or I was using the toms. Now the tom pattern would actually go right, left, left off this first tom and then um, right, left off this second tom. So we get Okay, right, so this isn't called inverted paradiddle lesson, though. it's called extended inverted paradiddle lesson. So what I'm actually talking about, all we're doing is we're putting an extra two notes at the start. If you think about when you play paradiddles, we get para, diddle, para, diddle. Then someone invented double paradiddles. Para, para, diddle, para, para, diddle. Then someone invented triple paradiddles. Para, 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 diddle, para, 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 diddle. Well, we can do the same with the inverted paradiddles. We get normal inverted paradiddles, invert, invert. We get double invert, one, two, one, two, and we get three, one, two, three. One, two, three. Well, in this exercise, we're taking one of those, those extended inverted paradiddles, and we're doing one of them. So we're going um, right, left, right, left, left, right. So we're putting a right and a left before the pattern, right? Now, if I show you the tom one first, I think it's easier to pick this one up. I'm going to hit this one twice now, so it's going to give you this. Same thing, going back to the hi-hat and using the bass drums. I should have practiced slow before I did this lesson, shouldn't I? Right, it's hard to play slow. Um, it's going to be this one. So 
so you understand where the start and the stop is, I'll play one on this and one on this. Okay, now that's the technical side of it done. Right? All we've got to do now is figure out how to fit that into 30 second notes. Now, I hate counting to 30 second notes, and I hate teaching even more, because to teach eighth notes, you just teach people to count. One and two and three and, sixteenth, one and two and, 30 seconds, it's a big problem, right? Now, some people have, have taught to count um, one e and, and e and, two e and, and e and. Man, my brain cannot handle that at all. So what I tend to do is if I take 30 second notes, if I take a feel like this, In my head, instead of counting one e under and e under two e under and e under three e under and e under four e under and e under and now, what I do is I kind of just cheat and I try to change gear. So I just pretend it's the sixteenth notes and I count it twice: one e under two e under three e under four e under one e under two e under three e under four e under and back out. I find that a lot easier. So for this exercise here, um, as you're going to see in the notation here, the pattern can be split into two bars of sixteenth notes, but really we're playing it as thirty-second notes. Okay, so. Um, we're doing the, what we did earlier. We're doing a single inverted paradiddle, and then we're doing two um, extended inverted paradiddles. And at the end, there's still space for four more hits. So we're going to do an extra four at the end, right? So let's show you that so it makes a bit more sense. First part is this. And two of the extended. And that leaves four more notes at the end to play maybe this. Whole thing nice and slow. With a release on the end. So if what I just spoke about, the counting goes over your head a little bit, let's break that down real quickly. So what I'm saying is I'm counting, uh, no, this is a different coin, so I'm going one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a at the end. If you get stuck on that, look at this notation below. I've got the numbers written there for you to um, to go and figure that out, all right? Worst case scenario, if you're just really struggling with this, read the numbers and just tap some accents. So even if it's the wrong sticking, so we get one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a and that part there, all right? Okay, the whole thing, so you can hear it and slowly, and then speed it up. Okay, the tom one that I did, a little easier I think, goes like this. And then the four at the end. Here's all of that. A little faster. What I'm doing for that is I'm sticking a basic 30 second note group before it. So let's start with something real simple like this. A little slower. That's your lesson. Go try it. It's actually easier than I maybe make it sound when I'm talking about all these extended inverted parallels and these 30 second notes. If you're struggling with that stuff, just go back, watch the video, and just learn it as right, left, right, right, left, right, right, and learn it in that way, okay? You'll be able to pick it up, I promise you. Um, hopefully you're enjoying these lessons. Please give me some comments. Let me know anything else you want to look at. 
Um, subscribe, tick the bell, do all that kind of crazy stuff, and uh, share it with your friends. I'll see you again next time.